Until relatively recently, the coastline of Southern California was covered in coastal sage scrub. This habitat was home to many different animals, and some of them, like the Pacific pocket mouse, specialize in the coastal environment and do not live anywhere else. Starting in the 1950s, development began in earnest in Southern California. Land was cleared for urban development and agriculture. Areas of coastal sage scrub were destroyed, and the habitat became more fragmented. The last known population of Pacific pocket mice was destroyed during development in 1971, and the species was thought to be extinct. However, more than 20 years later, Pacific pocket mice were rediscovered in Orange County. They were quickly listed with the federal government as an endangered species. After extensive searching, two more populations were found in San Diego County. There are now three remaining populations of Pacific pocket mice, and the state and federal governments are working hard to protect this species from extinction. In collaboration with governmental and land managing agencies, the San Diego Zoo began a captive breeding program for Pacific pocket mice. During the summer of 2012, individuals from each of the remaining populations were brought into a facility to become the founders of a fourth population. Once this captive group grows, animals will be reintroduced to an area within their historic range, creating another wild population. Reintroductions are an intensive process, and their success is not always guaranteed. The San Diego Zoo will employ a variety of techniques to keep animals at the release site, where they are better able to build shelter, find food, avoid predators, and find mates. Among the issues considered are genetic diversity, predator recognition and avoidance, and selection of an optimal release site that will meet the Pacific pocket mouse needs. One thing that has not been considered before is the effect of competition with other species at the release site. Pacific pocket mice occur with a variety of other small mammals in the wild, but it is not well understood what structures these relationships and allows for stable coexistence. If there are too many competitors at a release site, will Pacific pocket mice be able to establish their home ranges and grow into a viable population? Through studying the pocket mice in the wild, I will be able to observe which species are dominant and whether pocket mice are territorial. I will also study how the different species use the habitat. Do they occupy different microhabitats? Are they active at different times of night? These studies will help us understand how Pacific pocket mice coexist in a community of other small rodents, and we will be able to use this information when selecting and managing a release site. In conjunction with other supportive measures, taking into account competition with other species may help ensure the success of the Pacific pocket mouse reintroduction and establish additional viable populations, improving the chances for the long-term survival of the species. As a graduate student at UCLA, I'm excited to be part of a project that incorporates animal behavior into conservation and may assist in saving the pocket mice from extinction.